Hey everyone, welcome back to another PlayStation Platinum video. Today we're going to be platinuming Gotham Knights. If you don't know what Gotham Knights is, I mean, how could you not? This game is the this infamous game that flopped a few months back. Or back in, like, uh, I think November. So, yeah, about a year ago now. And, yeah, this game flopped hard. Everyone said it was really bad. It just didn't compare to the Arkham games. And, I mean, it's going to not compare to Arkham games. Nothing can compare to the Arkham games. But, basically, it came out, and I didn't get it because I had a PS5 at the time. And it dropped the, the PS4 versions, which is understandable after playing the game. And... Yeah, honestly though, I think everyone over exaggerates. It's not that bad. It's it's bad, but it's like it's okay bad. Like I can play it. But yeah, today we're planning it. If you guys do enjoy, do like, much appreciate, and let's get right into the platinum trophy. So before we begin my journey, let's just say. During the story, I did end up picking up 23 trophies. Most stories, some side. I'm not gonna go over the side. I, I guess I can go over two. There's one about one called Out of Your Out of Their League, which is for like to take it down like a bunch of like um, League of Shadows people. It takes a while to do. There are guys that say that you can't do them. You have to do them before the story finishes, but that's a lie. You can actually do it after the story finishes. Don't believe the guide because it's just talking nonsense. But yeah. 23 trophies to begin with, pretty good start if I do say so myself, but we have to get in to the other trophies. So there's a lot, and I mean a lot. So the first thing I did after completing the main story was try and track down the villains, the side villains. There are three, Harley, Clayface, and Mr. Freeze. I did decide to go for Harley first, as she was the one I was most familiar with in the entire game, since I did see her side mission, I think, on a playthrough, I think. And basically, her side mission is pretty simple you have to go and stop her from mind controlling people i say simple that i bring up a mind control it isn't that bad it's a good storyline but it's not one that i'd rather like show you guys i'd rather you experience it yourself because it's actually a pretty fun one to do especially the fight at the end but yeah i'm just gonna show you guys the trophies popping because yeah And after finishing off Harley, I did decide to go do some crimes because there's a trophy for getting 250 crimes in this game. And do you know how long that takes? That takes a uh, long. But if you do all the crimes while they come up, then you should get it done relatively after end game. But I did get a trophy momentum occasion, which is basically for finishing all the momentum or getting all the momentum abilities with Bat Gold, Nightwing, or Red Hood. I chose Red Hood because that's my main character for the entire game. And yeah, it's it wasn't that hard. I then also got another trophy, another easy trophy for finishing all the practice stuff. I actually did all the practice stuff when I first played, but then I only was, I found out I had to do momentum abilities to get more practice stuff. So once I got this last momentum bar, I actually unlocked my ability to finish the, the practice stuff. So yeah, easy. They're really easy. They're like not as bad as like the tutorial missions in Mortal Kombat. Cause those, those are something else. You're ready to move on. I then go on the granny trophies out of the way, which is basically for killing or defeating 30 freaks, bulldozer freaks, or whatever they're called. Like the big ones with the shields. I don't really know what they're called. Basically, there's a bunch of trophies we have to kill a specific amount of enemies. And these trophies are so grindy that it's so annoying. But with this trophy, I actually didn't expect it to come. It just came out of nowhere. So I can't really say I was grinding freaks. It just kind of happened. But yeah, relatively easy. And after that, I decided to go for all the man bats. If you don't know, there's a trophy called Man Bat Family, where you have to defeat our 10 man bats. And you can defeat five in the story by just playing it entirely. But the guide says, if you don't, like, basically after you get the man bats as a villain, you can, like, look and find them around Gotham. But the, the guide says, if you don't defeat them within the time, without a time limit, they will have to make you play the entire game again. That is false. Uh, basically, once you defeat the five and you finish the main game, um, you can actually just go back to the belfry and come back and then look at the three main places like um elliot uh, memorial wayne tech or gotham general and you'll find a man bat either one of those locations each time you go to the belfry i'm lucky and you get two sometimes and yeah the guide kind of just says you can't which is a lie it was most of the time it says that you can't even with a lot of other trophies so technically there's nothing missable if you really think about it And then right after this, I decided to actually start taking on Mr. Freeze. And it's the same level structure as Harley Quinn. But let me tell you, 
Mr. Freeze is level. It's the most visually stunning level in the entire game. I just, I just, I remember when I saw it in the like the reveal gameplay when they were taking out Mr. Freeze, and it still looks the same. Like the level terrain looks so good. The ice everywhere. Elliot uh, Memorial covered in ice. It just looks so good. And the boss fights were sick. So you actually fight Mr. Freeze twice. Believe it or not, pretty cool. And after that, what do you think I did? I only had one villain left to take down, and that was Clayface. And see, I did give praise to Mr. Freeze because it was the most visually stunning one, but when I tell you Clayface's has to be the best one. I don't know what it is. You get to chase him down in the sewers in the, mo the bat cycle, and his, his effects, like his clay effects, are so well done. Like, they look so realistic. I mean, like, look at um, Arkham City's. Arkham City clay, clay faces, and you can tell, yeah, it's clay, but it's not looks as realistic at all. Then you look at the Gotham Knights clay face, and you go, that that looks sick. And I don't know, man, clay faces is really good. I liked all of the villain side missions. I think I least liked Harley's. I think it goes from Harley, Mister Freeze, and Clayface, but they were all good in their own way. And I just, I don't know, they're really they're really well done. I just can't explain it. And right after I decided to do something I hadn't even done for the entire story was something called mod fusions where you could like fuse mod chips. I don't know, I never did it, so I just saw the trophy and said, okay, let me get it done. It's a pretty easy one to get out of the way. Just fusing mod chips, it wasn't that hard. And then out of the loop while I was doing a crime, I got the trophy expert crime fire for doing 250 crimes. It just came out of nowhere. I didn't even expect it or nothing. So that's actually pretty cool. That means I didn't have to do anything in New Game Plus. Easy for me. I then thought it was time to start going for collectibles since I was pretty decently into getting all the trophies so I said let me know, I'm gonna go get the Batman caches. The caches are pretty simple, these are these time trials you have to go and do all the dots and then once you do the dots like the cache will be revealed and you can get it and you'll get a voice recording of Batman. And I didn't listen to the voice recordings but they're probably alright I think, I don't know I didn't, I didn't pay attention but yeah. They shop your map, these are the easiest ones I think. These and something else are pretty simple. Cache location sent to AR device. And then right after I went and did the protecting Batman's identity challenges, we had to like go around and try and like sneak into places to plant false evidence to prove the fact that Bruce Wayne is not Batman when he actually is. And it's like a safe, it's like a safe safety measure for if ever, if anyone ever like figured out who Bruce Wayne was or Batman was. I mean. And it's, they're easy, but I just, I was really bad at them, I kept getting stuck every few seconds. And you actually get a pretty funny video at the end of it, so it's, it's worth doing, if you ask me. And right after, I was a bit tired from collecting stuff, so I decided to go and grind out the defeating enemies challenge trophies. And I had two left, so I decided to go for the mob. Godmother's trophy where I have to defeat 30 mob godmothers and this one is you get it just naturally I think so I just kind of went out my way to do it because I must have been missing like two and it was pretty easy I then also went for the trophy talented which is for defeating a bunch of talons I don't even name it because the trophy has like 40 15 25 of certain different types and it's like this one is the one that really annoys people. This, this one, the Man Bat and the Out of the League or the League of Assassins one, really annoys people. But I think it wasn't that difficult. You just gotta find owl nests and get those done or go to like a uh, court of owl areas on the map and you'll get it done relatively quickly, I think. I then decided to come back to the collectibles after I finished defeating all the enemies that I had to do for the trophies and decided to go for the collectibles where you had to do bat cycle races. Not really collectible, more of like an activity. And oh no, I can't even lie, the back cycle races were the funnest thing I've done. They were really short, and I mean, I guess they, I wish there was like a racing mode in the game where you could race against your friends, that'd be so cool. But alas, it's just a racing activity you can do. You can't even really do them anyway, so it's like a one time thing. And they were really fun, they weren't that bad. I'm posting this one in the belfry. I then went looking for Tim's murals. He contacts you pretty early on into the game asking about his murals. I didn't do any of the collectibles for Tim because they don't even show up on your map. You have to like search them up. I, I can't lie to you. I did use guides for most of the collectibles, like the ones that don't show up on your map. So I'm not going to be like, oh, I found them all by myself. No, I just can't do that physically. It's just too long. And I really want to really do that to myself. It already, I already hate the collectibles in this game as it is. But yeah, these were pretty 
simple to find. It's only 12, so one that grindy in my opinion. All right, Redwood. There we go. I then got the trophy for equipping legendary equipment in suit, melee, and ranged stuff. This one isn't that hard. Once you get to end game, it's basically the easiest thing you can do. But you do have to go and find the pieces for the armors. So it's 50-50 on depending on your RNG and how easy you find legendary equipment. Other than that, it's relatively easy. I'm just going to speed run the ending collectibles, even though they did take me about three hours altogether to collect. Um, I collected all the battle ranks. There's like 12 in each district. They're not that hard. I actually thought they were alright. Not the hardest one to... Uh, I'm telling you that now. And I also went and collected all the landmarks. Kingdom has like taking pictures of buildings in Spider-Man PS4. Basically the same thing. Except you have to go and like look at it and examine plaques. It was, it was alright. And then also... The I guess annoyingest one is the Historia Strategia yeah. pages or whatever they're called, like the Court of Owl symbols. Yeah, user guide. I don't see the point of using like going around looking at the manual because it takes you so long to do. But other than that, it was relatively easy. And before I knew it, I could start New Game Plus because if you don't know, you can't get max level in the normal game. You have to do it in New Game Plus because the max level in the main game is thir level 30. But in New Game Plus, it, it upgrades to level 40. So I went, leveled up to level 40 by just doing some of the side missions and some of the main missions again. And after I knew it, I was there with the plan. Good to see you back in safe. And that's the Gotham Knights Platinum Trophy completed. Honestly, not even a bad experience. Honestly, it was so fun to play. Except the collectibles. I think the collectibles were too overdone. And all the defeating enemy trophies. Just, what were they thinking? Those trophies were horrendous. But other than that, the game was actually pretty fun. I was planning on playing it with a friend. But he got pretty bored after the first, like, hour. So I kind of went and did it myself. I was too far gone. And yeah, um, I may do the DLC at some point. I'm just thinking if I want to do that or not. Because I have most of them. So I can make a full video at some point. Uh, I might be platinuming Mafia 2 next. So look out for that. And yeah, hope you all did enjoy. Comment if I said yeah again. And uh, leave a like, so I appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next Planet video. Peace out.